We're joined by Stephen Markey's mother and sister, Catherine and Susan. Ladies, uh, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. I know, uh, I know it's got to feel like every day is the same day over and over and over again when your, your brother, and, brother and child's killer isn't, isn't behind bars. Um, just what's that like? It's agony, to tell you the truth. Uh, living through this horrifying situation has been very difficult. Uh, first, we had to deal with the murder and the numbness and agony that followed that horrendous crime. Then we went into the criminal system, and we hung in for many for all these years of hearings. He was certified to be tried as an adult. It's, it's obviously been a painful experience, an extremely painful experience for our family that's been exacerbated by the way that we've been treated by Mary Morgan. Yeah, it, it seems as though you're being re-victimized sort of every day now um, as this comes, comes over and over again. I, I want to play her soundbite um, where she starts off by saying, I feel very much for the family. Take a listen. And I feel very much for the family. I talked to them at great length Friday. I felt their anger. I felt their grief. My job is to listen to them, but ultimately to do what is in the best interest of public safety. Put aside whether she's so, right for a second or, or not. Do you think it's a sincerely held belief? What's going on with this? I do think that she genuinely believes that this is in the interest of public safety. And I think that that's something that should ultimately be very terrifying to the members of the public in Minnesota. Well, no, no kidding. Um, in so many ways, you know, look, when, you, when you've lost Keith Ellison by being too soft on crime, that's saying an awful lot, right? I mean, there, there's sort of a, a wild statement just, just in that itself. Um, and Ellison, though, has said, I, I, as I understand it, in the case of of your brother and your son's murder, he said his, he's done, effectively. He's not going to take this on and, and overrule her. Um, what do you think was going through voters' minds electing somebody like this? I mean, to us, it's a nonpartisan issue. No one wants murderers and rapists on the street. I think that she was elected at a certain political moment. And Maybe people didn't really understand what her campaign promises would mean in actuality. But here we are in a situation where we're being told that the murder of my beloved brother in the middle of the day for over a car didn't matter because it doesn't align with someone's political agenda. Do you think this for her and for others like minded of her are it's about politics or something else? I think she believes this is the right thing to do. Wow. I, I know you, you've sat and talked to her, um, and she, she said that. I, I'm interested in what you told her, and, you know, she said, I, I felt their anger, and on and on. I'm wondering if you feel like she really felt your loss. From, first of all, from my perspective, we didn't express anger to Mary Moriarty. Uh, I think that what we were trying to express is fear. We're afraid for the people of Minnesota. We've been put through tremendous pain. We don't want another family to experience the tremendous pain of being called and told their family member is dead for no reason. So our goal here, you know, Steve is dead. We love Steve. We'll never recover from the loss of Steve. But we understand that he's gone. Our fear is that this kid will hurt someone else. That's why we're here. Yeah. We don't want anything else hurt. I'm heartbroken for you. I really am. And, and to continue to fight and to continue to, to feel like you have to keep fighting rather than grieving uh, has got to be so hard. It really does. But uh, your, your brother and your son couldn't ask for any more or, or a more powerful voice. So we're going to keep having you back. Uh, as the case continues, we're, gl we're glad to know about it. Obviously, we just we just learned about this and what's been going on in Minneapolis. We'll keep following it. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.